The State Route 02 quadruped walking robot is a remarkable creation by Sansei Technologies and Hidetaka Tengen. It's designed to look like a giant rhinoceros that you can actually ride. The company states that it's an upgraded version of the world's first quadruped walking robot ride capable of transporting multiple passengers. It is notable for being the world's first quadruped robot capable of carrying four passengers. The State Route 02 measures 3.6m in length, 2.0m in width, and 2.1m in height. It has four legs and can walk stably while carrying up to four people. The leg design and gait were optimized through simulations and experiments to achieve stable walking. The mechanical design focused on load-bearing capacity, range of motion, and quasi-static stability. The robot uses Azratex robot control system Visito for free operation by the rider or operator with a special controller. Hidetaka Tenjin, a robot designer, helped design the form to make it approachable and comfortable. The design team endeavored to push aside the ideas they originally had for an animal-like shape, pet-like behavior, etc., and reached a shared vision to instead try and optimize the model's functions and construction into an enchanting form. Sansei Technologies specializes in amusement rides, so it's safe to assume that State Route 02 will eventually make its way to at least one theme park. Unfortunately, there's no word yet on if they plan to offer this robot for private sales. The State Route 02 quadruped walking robot was on display during the Japan Mobility Show 2023. Isogeneer, an engineering and product development company, has created Isofloating, a pioneering floating solar system. This system is the highest quality, most durable, and cost-efficient floating solar system in the world, as claimed by the representatives of the developing company. The panels of Isofloating are made of modern high-quality materials using injection molding technology. This production method expels almost all of the molten material air, contributing to the formation of a more durable structure due to the absence of internal voids. Each panel can can withstand a load of up to 240 kilograms and a special aerodynamic design minimizes the impact of wind on the structure. Its unique and patented technology allows partial or complete coverage of the water surface, bottom and slopes. It can be used in irrigation or industrial ponds, reservoirs, as well as in hydroelectric or water treatment plants, mining lakes, and more. The cost of such a system is much lower than that of other floating analogs. In addition, it is easy to transport from one place to another thanks to its special folding design and the installation process does not require the participation of special staff. A team of four people can install a station with a capacity of one in just 17 days. Now we can say with confidence that floating solar power plants like Isofloating have a great future. The Magneco is a legged robot developed by a team of engineers at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich. It has the advanced capability of climbing any ferrous obstacle, employing magnets as the method of adhesion. This innovative machine can perform a multitude of actions seamlessly. It can walk on the ground and climb walls and ceilings with ease. The robot's design allows for smooth transitioning around corners and the ability to climb along ceilings and overhangs, expanding its range of motion and accessibility. The robot uses special electro-permanent magnet modules developed at ETH's robotic systems lab. Each module is made up of multiple smaller magnets that can be repeatedly magnetized and demagnetized within a fraction of a second via a short electric pulse. Importantly, the magnets don't require any electricity to stay in either state. They're also very powerful when magnetized, just one foot can hold up to 2.5 times the robot's total weight. So yes, the robot can walk completely upside down. In its current incarnation, Magneco has to be told where to go by an operator using a wireless handheld controller superscript 2. That said, the bot proceeds to follow that route on its own, autonomously transitioning between walking on vertical and horizontal ferromagnetic surfaces. Spring-loaded rubber foot pads help it maintain traction as it does so. The team plans on preparing the robot for inspection work first, but nothing prevents it from doing autonomous maintenance or remotely operated repairs in the future. It can support payloads of several kilograms and with its insect-style configuration, it can easily position itself as required. Surveillance is also a very interesting use case, since the robot can hang in one spot for multiple hours to perform a task, thanks to the special magnetic feet that don't require any power to stay magnetized.
Makani Power, a project by Google, introduced a groundbreaking design for wind turbines in the form of a kite with an attached wind generator. Utilizing this innovative approach resulted in remarkable savings on materials up to 90% and a 50% increase in electricity generation compared to traditional ground-based installations. The key advantage lies in the kite's ability to ascend to 350M, where air flows are twice as powerful as at the maximum height of 100M for conventional wind turbines. The kite could be equipped with 4A turbines featuring propellers that not only generated energy but also created additional thrust, enabling the structure to reach even greater heights. The rotating turbines harnessed wind power, and the generated energy was transmitted to the ground through a wire. Beyond its primary function, the station served as a shelter during natural disasters, showcasing a dual-purpose design. Unfortunately, the project faced setbacks and was eventually closed due to unforeseen challenges. Despite this, the company made data from the test study publicly available in the Energy resource portfolio. Some companies have already leveraged this information in the development of their wind turbine projects, highlighting the enduring impact of Makani Power's contributions to the renewable energy landscape. The Aquanaut 2 Malawian Quachas is a fully electric, untethered, and autonomous subsea robot developed by Nauticus Robotics. It is the second generation of Aquanaut robots and it features a number of improvements over the previous model. The 2 Malawian Quachas model builds on the original Aquanaut with enhanced thruster performance, battery capacity, and payload-slash-sensor configurations to expand its potential uses. Key features of Aquanaut 2 Malawian Quachas likely include increased autonomy, hybrid electric propulsion, modular payload sensor, sections, high-resolution imaging slash sensors, and advanced navigation slash autonomy software. It can operate at depths up to 300 meters and has a maximum endurance of up to 60 hours depending on configuration. One of the most defining capabilities of the Aquanaut 2 Malawian Quachas is its ability to operate in two separate modes, excursion and intervention. In excursion mode, the Aquanaut 2 Malawian Quachas is configured for long-range missions such as surveying or inspecting large areas of the seabed. In this mode, the robot can travel travel at speeds of up to 4 knots 7.4 kilometers per hour and has a range of up to 100 kilometers in intervention mode the Aquanaut 2 Malawian Quachas is configured for close up work such as performing maintenance or repairs on subsea infrastructure in this mode the robot has a high degree of maneuverability and can operate in currents of up to 3 knots 5.6 kilometers per hour the Aquanaut 2 Malawian Quachas is equipped with a variety of sensors and tools that make it ideal for a wide range of subsea applications these include high-resolution cameras, sonar, lidar, manipulators, grippers, and tools for cutting and welding. Typical applications include underwater infrastructure, slash asset inspections, seabed surveys, subsea data harvesting, general ocean floor mappings, maintenance and repair, construction and installation, search and rescue, and scientific research. The Aquanaut 2 Malawian Quachas is controlled through acoustic communication networking and underpinned by Nautica's proprietary software suite, Toolkit. HRO is a German company that is reinventing the rules of flight by developing hybrid electric unmanned aerial vehicles that combine technologies from balloons, drones and airplanes. Their flagship product is the HRO-1, a lighter-than-air UAV that uses a combination of helium and electric power to fly. The HRO-1 has a payload of about 3 kilograms and can fly for up to 400 minutes. It uses helium for static lift and buoyancy and solar panels on its hull to power electric propellers. This hybrid design allows for longer flight times times, quieter operation, and the ability to fly in more challenging environments than traditional UAVs. HRO's UAVs are designed for aerial photography, mapping, inspection, monitoring, search and rescue, delivery, and other applications. They are being used by German government agencies for border surveillance, disaster response, and other operations. A key advantage of HRO's UAVs is their sustainability. By utilizing electric propulsion and solar power, they produce fewer emissions than conventional UAVs. The company's design philosophy philosophy focuses on energy efficiency, versatility, and sustainability. While still in development, HRO's hybrid electric UAVs have the potential to revolutionize industries like agriculture, surveillance, logistics, and more. The ingenious combination of technologies from balloons, drones, and airplanes makes HRO an innovative leader in sustainable and efficient flight.